a few things happen today. As a prosecutor, I get to watch whom I believe may be a witness. And I make a determination. Did this witness come off credibly? Can this witness hold up under cross-examination? Michael Cohn wasn't just dancing between raindrops. He was dancing between lightning bolts. And I would say he held up pretty well. And he was the right mix of respect, proper decorum, but he wasn't taking anything lying down. And when it was time for him to speak up and defend himself, he did so. Yeah. Michael Cohen is not a good witness, not a great witness. He is the ultimate witness because he was there. He lived it. He breathed it. So he set it up. Anyone who would trash, bash, castigate, or basically say, forget him as a witness because he's previously lied, is being incredibly disingenuous. Again, our system, the system of criminal justice, lives and dies with cooperators. We take the witnesses that we get, and unfortunately, or fortunately, most people who have information about criminal activity do so because they have been involved in, if not other criminal activity, in that criminal activity. And that's, that's what makes them so good as a government witness. Who better than someone who knows? So in that backdrop of his continuing cooperation, we learned today that there is at least one investigation that Mr. Cohn cannot speak about because it is an active investigation that he is providing sub, uh, what we call substantial assistance to the Southern District on. So that jumped out at me what he can't talk about. And of course, what he did talk about resonated because what he said and what we saw, what did we see today? We saw documentary evidence. We saw copies of checks. Those checks go directly to the heart of the question of, did the president violate campaign finance laws by paying hush money? And those checks were evidence that, in fact, the president was aware that he was paying money to silence someone who could be hurtful to him, Stormy Daniels, that was done as a result of things that went on while he was running, and as a result, that should have been disclosed. Moreover, the fact that Mr. Cohn acknowledged that the president had a debt to pay to Mr. Cohn should have apparently made its way to a financial disclosure form, which apparently that debt was never in fact disclosed. So we learned what Mr. Cohn didn't tell us, that's important, and we saw real evidence of campaign finance laws.